What's up, everybody? How are you doing? Very cool. You caught me without my, my sunglasses a little bit. But anyway, I'm Kenyo. Welcome to uh, Kenyo Poetry Live. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I was just watching it. It looks like, like I started it like a little bit early. But um, anyway, it's 11 o'clock. We're here on the Saved Over Success Network. This is another beautiful Wednesday, August 15th. All the likes are already coming in. Jania's is happy. She's happy because I'm here on time. Like the last two weeks, I was like five minutes late. But I'm here on time today. And even though I'm displaying a lot of energy, I'm actually kind of on a whole different vibe today. And uh, I'm excited because the topic I've decided on for today is beauty. Um, because for me as a poet, I love beautiful stuff. I, I love to do, um, you know, I like focus on it all the time. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm thinking about beauty. Jani is still killing it with the likes. I know she likes the Saved Over Success logo there in the corner, too. <laughs> it's looking good. Um, but yeah, yeah, once again, this is, I'm Kenyo. We're on the Saved uh, Over Success Network. This is Kenyo Poetry Live. The theme of today is beauty. Shout out to um, at Rise Above TV for, um, for also sharing this because we're going to be on there, too. And you can go check out Rise Above TV, too. Um, on their channel, and then definitely subscribe to the Saved Over Success um, Network. First thing we're going to do right now is we're going to get some shares on. So I'm going to let you guys see my little my little share window, what I got going on. Definitely share this. If you're watching this, that would be super awesome. I would enjoy it um, so much. Tag me in it if you do share it. When you do share it, I shouldn't say if you do share it. Um... I will greatly appreciate that. Looks like I'm gonna have to add in a brand new, a brand new window capture so you guys can see what I'm doing. But um, yeah, yeah. So I'm um, definitely share this. I'm gonna share it a lot on Facebook. If you guys don't know about what I, the other stuff that I do, I, I run um, uh, Project Forward, which is a media company, and because of that, I run a, a few different Facebook pages besides my own. And uh, I'm going to share this on all of those pages right now. So go ahead and share with me. Hit that share button. Share it with your friends. Tag me at Kenyo. Um, you guys want to see what I'm doing with the shares? Let's jump in there so you can see what I'm doing. So let's share this right now. I'm going to share this. Uh, I'm going to share this to my Kenyo page. Um, so definitely share if you have a page share it to your page and then tag your page that way I can find your page and I can like like your page and say thanks for sharing uh, thanks for watching Kenyo poetry live boom done post that let's do a few more shares I'm gonna keep the shares rolling let's share it to Let's share it to Project Forward. I don't know if I share it to Project Forward. But hey guys, watch. I'm going to tag myself because this is a different page. Hey guys, watch Kenyo on the app Saved Over Success Network. Boom. Put that out there. All right. Where else should I share this? I'm going to share it. This is fun. This is like my favorite part of this. I hope you're sharing with me. This is how... I get famous, and when I get famous, you know, um, I'll thank you. How specifically, I don't know. Don't worry. I'll, I'll dash you a few dollars, you know. Probably not, actually. I won't give you money. But you'll be able to say, I knew Kenyo, and I helped him because I shared his stuff. That's a big enough deal. Okay, and then I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it just one more time. I'm going to share it into my group that I created. Um, this is a group for, I'm going to share it in two groups actually. First I'm going to share it in the Fiercely Supporting group which is San Antonio mostly. It's a group um, that I created for San Antonio artists and entrepreneurs because that's what Project Forward is meant for. It's to help artists and entrepreneurs really focus on their brand uh, and learn little tricks and tools and meet other artists and entrepreneurs. Hey, this is a good one to watch. A little Self-promotion from our founder, Kenya. So yeah, the, the thing that I want to talk about um, a lot today is beauty. And you know, it's kind of strange because it's not just beauty. It's also, um, I think it takes a little bit of strength to see beauty, 
you know? And I think because of that, it also takes a little bit of, of strength to be an artist, you know, because all kinds of things come. And how do you decide to create quality art when things don't feel quite like um, you wish they did? So uh, first thing, I'm actually going to read this poem about um, artists um, because I think it's super important. I, I feel like sometimes sometimes artists forget what their role is in society. And the other group I'm going to share this into this is going to be the last one. Then I'll get this out of the way so you can actually see me. I'm going to share this to a group that I made for Los Angeles. Um, for Los Angeles... Um, Project Forward members called Massive Appeal, because I want to show shout that out there. Hey guys, check this out because this is not a San Antonio show. This is a global show. This is on the Saved Over Success Network. It's massive, guys. So boom, I'm gonna do that. Let's get this out of the way so I can so you can see me. I'm gonna play some music, and I'm gonna do this. So you guys are gonna get some some live stuff. Um, yeah, so I think it's interesting. So I'm going to read this poem. This poem is to me about the duty of, of artists. And I believe that it's artist's job. You can't be afraid. You can't be... I'm going to read two poems, actually. One is going to be about artist's duty, and the other one's going to be all about money. The, the poem will explain, explain itself, because it's the artist's duty to do this stuff, to create art. And you can't be afraid of that. So here's this poem. Let's get some let's get some music. This is a little track that I'm going to use. I'm actually performing some poems and some music live on August 28th. I'm also doing August 25th with um, Jania Moore and Saved Over Success. They're creating an event called Mike Drop 2.0, and that's going to be on August 25th. And then on August 28th, I'm going to be at Fitzgerald, and I'm going to be opening up for a really, really awesome lady. She's a she's a She's doing a tour. Um, her stuff really leans almost into what I would call like soul. Um, some of the messages are super positive, leaning on the, the edge of gospel. And I'm going to be performing some um, poems with music and, and a couple songs. Um, also, yeah, I know you guys didn't know that I sing. I get super artsy sometimes. It's true. Okay, it goes down. Um, but yeah, here, I'm going to play some music so you guys can see a little bit of what's going to be going on that night. Artists have no right to fear poverty or any other sickness of the ego, not the ones up here, not the ones on stage. I will leap deeply off any cliff that promises me a better poem, because my poetry saves minds at 100 lives per hour. I've never been the kind of man to put only 10% on the line. If I'm going to lose at the end of life, I want to enter heaven with bruises and six mouthfuls of dirt. Artists may have a right to fear, but never a right to turn away. If I had turned away, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have made it to all this to this stage or any of the other stages I saw this year. Tokyo, Nagoya, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Dallas, San Antonio. What were those to me except the edges of an epiphany? What is this stage except the pieces of a prophecy? Carved from the marble lips of legacy, diamonds plucked from the pressure of my ancient relevance. This sort of thing doesn't happen on accident. People like us don't gather on accident. I'm not sure what you hear when you hear the word poet, when it gets tossed in the ring with my tongue, but I know I've thrown a couple left hooks and tomorrow you'll wake up with a few bruises and wonder how you got them. What is this except very likely one of our last opportunities for our eyes to meet? Before I start the orbit again, Tokyo, Nagoya, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Dallas, Nigeria, New York, Nashville, San Antonio. Did you know that distance was only a series of destinations? And speed is like a clock? Let me say that again. Did you know that distance is only a series of destinations? And speed is like a clock. 60 miles every hour and how much did you see while you were there 
Or do you feel as though you have nowhere to go? If you've never arrived, then I have news for you. Space is only as potent a metaphor as the time you spent there. That's why I will leap deeply off any cliff that promises me a better poem because my poetry saves minds at 100 lives per hour and your eyes are my destination. People like us don't gather on accident. People like us could never be an accident. So for the next one month, I'm going to travel back and forth between these precious destinations because the clock has struck you and this hour is my chance to arrive. That's that poem. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna read one more poem for you, but uh, before I do that, I kind of want to use this show, I don't know if I told you, I, I think I told you guys this, but I want to use this show to showcase a lot of other poets. Um, and so today I'm going to be showcasing um, a poet that I really, really like in San Antonio. Um, her name, I will say in just a second, but I hope you guys um, um, keep checking out Kenyo Poetry Live. Thank you so much for watching. Share this um, with your friends and family. But right now I'm going to switch you over um, to this poet. She is super duper awesome. She performed this poem at uh, an event that I hosted um, in downtown San Antonio, an event called uh, Jazz and Poetry with a Purpose that I was able to host. I was very lucky um, to be able to, I was very blessed, let me say, to be able to host that. It's usually hosted by the wonderful um, Andrea Vocab Sanderson. I stepped in, I filled in for her this one, this, this actually was the second time that I was able to fill, fill in with her because she has a lot of stuff to do. She's out there being famous, being featured constantly uh, on television. So I, I felt, I felt privileged to be able to do that. Um, but I'm going to drop this, 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 uh, this performance from you. Um, this is from that night. I'm watching it. I'm streaming it to you from, because I like doing this connection between media. So I'm going to stream it to you from not just play the video for, for you, but I'm going to stream it to you online from the Forever Yours Productions page. So check them out as well, Forever Yours Productions. I'll make sure I'm going to move the video up a little bit so you can see their name at the bottom when I transition it over. Um, but check them out. They're a super awesome media creation uh, company, mostly focused in San Antonio right now. Um, and then when I come back, I'm going to tell you guys some exciting stuff that I have coming up because I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm doing a lot of stuff. This is an interesting morning for me. Right after this, I'm going to go meet with um, some people that I collaborate with constantly. Uh, and then I'm going to go over to uh, a business that I just created a short film for. Um, and then I have a, I have an event that I'm, I'm leaving shortly this week. I'm going to be in Dallas. And then I'm going to be in Los Angeles. Um, and those dates you can all find by checking me out on my social media. It's right there at the top. At... Kinyo HQ um, Instagram. I'm super killing it on Instagram right now. <laughs> and then I'm also on Snapchat a lot. Uh, well, not a lot, but I'm on Snapchat a lot. And it's all the same thing um, at Kinyo HQ. So definitely find me. But right now, I'm going to Forever Yours Productions, Carmen's Delicae, Jazz and Poetry with a Purpose, Be Yourself from July 26th. And the performer is none other than. Then the wonderful Mandy Lynn. Enjoy this this uh, this poem, guys. I get calls in the middle of the night from desperate men trying to find themselves. The concaves of their mind riddled with extinguished possibilities. Different shades of men, different walks of life, same damn regret. <laughs> Aimless journeys intersected in search of home. I never was quite capable of attracting a man with a home. Instead, I took in men who nestled themselves into mine for a time. For most, I gave nothing but a kind smile and worn out couch. Warm meals, warm hearts of the way I grew up. A belly full of southern hospitality. A woman's laugh, feminine energy, the air-conditioned breeze of pine solid pledge, independence, intelligence, love of family, elements of the experience that make their minds drift back to me. I am the one that got away. 
But that never stopped any man from leaving, except by force. Guess loyalty, I guess loyalty is just too much for some men. Some men spend their entire lives looking for a woman like me. If we pass each other like ships on a failing sea, moving on to shores of unkind lovers, the kind that take good, take shelter, take pleasure with no regard for the effort. They all see it so clearly now. Like a path of breadcrumbs, a trail of tears, I am the one that got away. One by one they call me. In the late night hours, before cold showers, dreaming of a woman that can hold them tight tonight, bring life's empty spaces back to light, I am the one that got away. Every day I thank God for that. And I cannot see the glory beyond the horizon if I am always looking back. So tonight, tonight my phone is set to silent tonight. I refuse to hear one-sided stories tonight. I refuse to pick up the phone tonight. I will not let a traveling man steal my home. If they want to know what I'm doing, they can find me behind the mic tonight. Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, I hope I say hello, that. Time. Mandy Lynn is super talented. She's also part of the um she's part of the uh the Puro Slam team here. So she's like a slam poet um on one of like the biggest slam teams here in San Antonio. That's pretty cool. Um I'm gonna read this this other poem. Cause I'm thinking a lot about a lot about beauty and, and artist's duty to beauty and you know, um, I was listening to, I know lots of us, whether it's uh, our pastors or, you know, just in general, we think a lot about, we think a lot about money. It stresses us out, you know, and um, because of its huge gravity in our life, um, we can, we can sometimes um, focus so much on it. Um, and uh, last week I talked about security and insecurity, and that's something I think a lot about even for myself. You know, I'm like, in what ways are my insecurities, um, what in what ways am I giving my insecurities the power um, to shape my life? Um, that's something that I would never want to happen. And um, money definitely does that, you know, in a very big way. Um, um, for obvious reasons, you know, we have to pay for our bills, we, we get in different situations, and um, we can easily feel like uh, unless we're making a certain amount or unless we prioritize money in a certain way or unless we, you know, constantly focus on um, um, getting money somehow, you know, some, you know, our life will be lacking in some way and it's a it's a huge fear and um i see it causing a lot of st I mean, for me i can see it sometimes bending but i'm so aggressive as an artist because i'm like i don't i'm not letting anything get in the way of what i'm uh, what i'm what i'm here to do which is reach people um there's enough people making money money you know um, and, uh, I'm sure that'll keep going on. There's, there's, there's enough people doing the business stuff. Um, and I feel confident in my situation in life, in my position, uh, in my destiny, um, in my design, my identity, uh, as a poet to believe that this is what I'm here for. And if, uh, you know, at any point the dollars don't match up, which is a funny thing because we think so much about money, but, you know, I went to freaking Japan this year, you know, I'm traveling all over the place doing all these things, but still you can, but still, you know, like the, the pressure of money comes, but it's like, you're able to do what you're doing and the scale is always growing. Why would you think that you needed something else? Anyway, so this, and I, I think it, I think it has a detrimental effect. I think it's important, um, 
to a degree, but I think we need more people um, who believe in their role as artists and who can tough it out, who can make the sacrifice. So this poem is about that. I might never cash in because I don't need a million dollars to know that money isn't everything. And I can tell from the look on your face and the tone of your voice whether or not you think I'm worth anything. And I can tell by the look on your face and the tone of your voice that what you really need is poetry. Whether or not you've put it in your budget. The world needs perspective like it needs forests, but it burns both down instead of having the bravery to plant more of it. Slaves to security. So I might never cash in, not on this poetry. I'd rather give it out for free. Anyone can give a dollar, but I feel like I'm discovering an epidemic of homelessness, except they have homes, but don't even know what homes are. It's the least I can do to walk these streets with my bag full of honesty and empathy and I somehow still end up in Mercedes and BMWs on planes and at my favorite restaurants and live shows because my faith is like buckets. And when the value is real, trying to keep the water back is like trying to flood a bathroom behind a closed door. I might never cash in. Not on the poetry. I have planes for trading equity, but for now, I'm just glad to get and give out a little bit of me. Cause this me, this one is so little and our world is so brittle and our courage is so fickle. And all we want is a secure currency to know that when we wake up in the morning and go out and turn on the lights and we flash back in time, we'll look at our reflection and we'll proudly say, there's still more for me to do. I might never cash in. That's that poem. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I got like deep and serious there for a section, uh, for, for a second, but it's, it's really that big for me. Um, so I'm going to jump to you another little poem and I'm going to say a couple more things. I know I told you about what some stuff I was going to come, uh, that's some stuff I have coming up and I'll definitely do that. Hope you guys appreciate that poem. If you do give me a like and a share and find me on social media and give me a follow. This next poem is from the same night, uh, jazz and poetry with a purpose. Carmen's De La Calle, Forever Yours Productions, Janie Terrazas. The founder of Rise Above TV. Figure this would be a good time um, to put her on to put her on it since we're going to be sharing this on her page. Um, and thank you for that. Oh, we got some comments too. I see. Uh, ooh, the founder of Forever Yours Productions. I think she. I think she. Uh, I think she said thank you. I might be looking at the wrong video. Anyway, I'll check that out while I'm while I'm sharing this one with you guys. So go ahead and watch this. This is uh, Janie Terrazas at Carmen's. De la Calle, reading a poem. So stop judging yourself and stop judging others and see what happens. I see life itself as creator, constantly embracing, navigating, loving, teaching, showing me the way. I know I am in the picture. This time space movie projected in front of me. I co created. It has an essence of me sprinkled in it everywhere, and it is up to me to have the open heart and mind to see it, feel it, taste it, touch it, and fully receive it for what it truly is. I have, and we all do. The free will to trust and believe in this truth with every breath I take. And when I do, my perception of potentiality expands greatly. I have exited the manic matrix and bridged my heaven on earth. You can do it. That is great. 
for my past, present, and future self. And a deep, deep, vast ocean of understanding for others. The illusion of separation has been healed. My sense of oneness with the I am that I am has now become crystal clear. The fog and amnesia has dissipated and my sacredness has re-illuminated. My purpose burns fiercely within. I feel my eternal, infinite connection to the allness. I feel the ease and the flow of my soul. This is the flow. This is unconditional love vibe at its finest. Woo! So that was Janie Tarazas. I'm going to close this out. Get this tab pumped up. So I want to show you guys something else I'm working on, even before I let you see my face again. That was Janie Tarazas. Give it up for her. There's no one here. I'll clap. Okay, great. So um, you can see some of the stuff that I do for artists and entrepreneurs. If you go go in your browser, you just type in Project Forward. Let me see if you guys are even seeing what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, you just type in projectforward.tv into your browser. This is what it looks like. Um, it's for artists and entrepreneurs, and so we have like a whole member development thing. And I just had yesterday, I just had a, let me switch back to me so you can see me a little bit. Um, yesterday was so cool because... Um, Three, you know, like God does interesting stuff, you know. So um, I had a, a really cool, a really cool meeting yesterday that I got to. I was mostly just sitting in. Um, it was um, Weston Collins, who's a local um, author, and then Chantel Logan, who is a local author and um, media creator. And Weston is also a filmmaker. He's, he's, he writes and pitches to Netflix. And then um, uh, Danielle um, Victoria, local actress, filmmaker, um, they all had a meet up and they're all Project Forward members. And um, basically they're, they're starting a couple podcasts. I sat in the meeting, um, but this was me just sitting back because um, one thing I believe in and I, I institute in, in Project Forward is groups of three. Because if you have a group of three, even the Bible says a three-pronged cord is not easily broken. Um, so groups of three I found I find to be super useful. And so I really, really was, was pushing. I don't even know if they know this, but I was really, really pushing for them to become collaborators. Um, and they did, and they had a meeting, and they're, they're going to be launching some stuff. And, and I'm going to be, you know, still, like, completely behind it and supporting what they're doing. So they got a new podcast coming up. I'm not going to tell you the name of it. I'll let them launch everything. Um, I'm just going to be, you know, facilitating. That's what I love to be able to do and to be able to provide that security at least a little bit for artists because not everyone can handle the full, the full hardcore life like me. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're coming up to the end of the show, so I just want to show you what Project Forward looks like for those of you who are interested. Uh, I promise I'm only going to do this plug once every, like, two episodes. I might do it every episode. I'm not going to lie. But, um... Uh, if you're not a member and you want to become a member, and this is more for artists and entrepreneurs, it's not just really for the casual observer, but if you want to subscribe so you can watch, go ahead and do that. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe right there, and then once you get in, of course, I'm already subscribed, I'm an admin, I don't have to subscribe, then you can see some of the videos. So this is um, a Do You Bars, Hooks, and Books last month, um, basically featuring Chantel's in this one, um, Clarence Bell is in this one. Darks is in this one, a bunch of different um, performers, and we have some footage from when me and Mr. Composition, who's a local MC, we went to um, Japan, and we have some stuff from Growing Empowered Together, which is a local political company. We have a documentary that's coming out soon featuring Amina Deshay, who's also going to be on this network tomorrow, um, so definitely don't miss her. She's going to be on the Saved Over Success Network, Saved Over Success right there. 
Uh, oh wait, you can't see it because you're looking at my screen. And then we also have a uh, project forward. We have some project forward originals, which features different artists and entrepreneurs. We have expansion, um, which features more footage from um, from Japan. Then uh, I have influence hour Lamar, which is actually a cartoon that we're we're building. Uh, and then different series, idea parties, um, exploring Korean culture with with Benny. Um, she is a Nigerian American who really loves Korean um, stuff, and so she did a whole series, um, which you can only exclusively watch on Project Four. So definitely check some of that stuff out, you guys. Thank you so much for um, watching Kinyo Poetry Live, the number one poetry show in the nation. If I'm wrong, comment the other show on the on, on in, in the comments, and I'll believe you. Otherwise, keep checking back at the Saved Over Success. Sorry, <laughs> saved over success network for lots of other cool shows. They got comedy. They have um, they have like prayers, positivity, uh, and they, they they have a lot of good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I'll take these off so we can see each other closely. I see I have a little little speck. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week every single Wednesday here at 11 a.m. I'm Kenyo, the poet. It's been great hanging out with you. Okay. I should stop.